Report the man known as the jogger rapist will get out of prison next week. A survivor of serial rapist, Richard Gilmore, now speaking out one last time before he's released as a low level sex offender. A Jenny Young hearing from that woman, as well as Multnomah County officials who will be in charge of supervising him. She joins us live. Jenny? Jeff, Richard Gilmore, like you said, will be classified as a low-level sex offender, meaning he will not be on any public sex offender registries. Multnomah County, as we've reported, they're going to house him in subsidized housing in Portland's Old Town, but they are not releasing the address where he's going to be housed. They're trying to, you know, handle it that, okay, well, we're going to be extra careful. Well, extra careful only goes so far. A spokesperson with Multnomah County Community Justice Division telling Coin6 today that releasing Richard Gilmore to Old Town is the safest option for his victims and the community. I still get people that say, oh, he wouldn't come after you. You know, you've been too high profile. Really? I mean, when he broke into my house and I thought he left and I got trapped in my parents' bedroom on the phone with law enforcement, they kept telling me he's not coming back. He knows you're there. He's not coming back. Well, he did. He came back and he raped me in my parents' bedroom. Danielle Tudor, one of as many as nine women and girls Gilmore admits to attacking, says that the state and county's policies are protecting the criminal, not the victims and community. You're going to tell me he can know, he can go online and find out exactly where I live, where my family lives, but I will not get to know what neighborhood he moves into when he moves out of downtown Portland. How is that right or fair in anyone's eyes? It is not. Tudor is also frustrated that she and other victims will not be given automatic notifications anytime Gilmore relocates. And neither will you if he moves into your neighborhood. I also learned from the county that other felons on supervision are living in the same place they're putting Gilmore. They tell me it will be staffed by the Community Justice Center around the clock five days a week. Gilmore will also be required to wear a GPS monitoring device. All right, and as we've reported, these victims have been calling on Governor Kate Brown for some time now to step in, use executive powers, and reclassify Richard Gilmore as a higher level sex offender. And we reached, we did a story on this last week um, and reached out to Governor Brown twice last week. I reached out to her again today. That's three emails about this that have gone unanswered. Governor Lectina Kotek's office did send a brief statement last week. However, they have not answered my specific questions. I sent a list, several questions um, last week and today. Still no answers to those. Reporting live, Jenny Young, Quinn 6 News.